In this video, I will explain fat digestion, absorption, and delivery in the body. We're going to use this uh, schematic diagram. Before I go to the explanation, let me explain what this is. This basically, this region represents the mouth over here. And uh, you see this region over here represents basically the stomach. Uh, this region, this one is representing the liver over here and this one is representing uh, that you see over here is representing the gallbladder uh, this is representing the pancreas that you're gonna see right over here and this is representing the small intestine this region is representing the large intestine and this is uh, representing the rectum portion of the uh, GI tract so now we're gonna use that diagram to explain so you understand how the whole process goes when we uh, uh, consume or eat uh, fatty food, lipids, lipids go through the mouth and then it goes to the stomach. In the mouth, there are, uh, uh, in the oral cavity, there are lipase enzyme that begins the digestion. Then it goes to the stomach and it goes to the small intestine. Uh, during this process, uh, the pancreas will release uh, pancreatic juice which contains lipase and the bile will also release uh, uh, be made by the liver and will be stored in the gallbladder and then it will be released into the small intestine uh, the first part of small intestine which is the duodenum and in here digestion of the lipids will begin so what does the bile uh, uh, will do bile will basically break this large fat droplets into smaller fragments so this represents the bile in this case and this is a large droplet of fat so the bile will break it into smaller fragments and then the smaller fragments triglycerides will be hydrolyzed by uh, the enzyme lipase so in this case this one is representing the lipase lipase is going to just break down this one into tiny fragments <coughs> into glycerol uh, uh, free fatty acids and monoglycerides once the process of digestion is complete all the fatty acids uh, I mean all the triglycerides are broken down into free fatty acids on or monoglycerides they will combine with uh, bile salt and uh, form micelles so basically the interaction of the bile salt and fatty acid with glycerol uh, uh, and bile everything that will uh, form the micelles which is the basically uh, the bile salt and lipid complex the micelles will contact the epithelial uh, uh, cells of the intestine because fatty acids are fat those fatty acids will quickly and easily be able to cross the intestinal wall and enter the cell so here is a large scale of that interaction so this is the my cells uh, this is the brush border of the intestine here is the lumen of the intestine here is the epithelial cell of the intestine so they interact here and as soon as that interaction occurs fatty acids will enter the cell this one over here that you see is the nucleus so once the fatty acids are inside the cell those fatty acids will form triglycerides uh, once those fatty acids are inside the cell so suppose this is the fatty acid over here uh, those fatty acids will uh, enter the endoplasmic reticulum obviously the smooth endoplasmic reticulum if you recall from uh, your lectures about the cell smooth endoplasmic reticulums are responsible for uh, synthesis of the fat or lipids inside the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they will basically uh, those fatty acids and monoglycerides and glycerides will join back together and uh, a triglyceride will be synthesized and this triglyceride will be combined with cholesterol phospholipids and uh, it will be coated with the protein and that uh, complex of triglycerides uh, uh, phospholipids basically cholesterol and a coat of protein around them will be called chylomicrons uh, once formed in the uh, endoplasmic reticulum those chylomicrons uh, will be uh, leaving the uh, epithelial cell of the intestine which is this square represents it will exocytose into the interstitial fluid and then from the interstitial fluid it will enter the 
lymphatic vessels why not the blood vessels because <coughs> Uh, those uh, uh, fat droplets are too big so they cannot enter the blood vessels whereas lymphatic vessels have a larger gaps so they enter lymphatic vessels now the chylomicron is in the lymphatic vessel lymphatic vessels will transport chylomicron uh, uh, back into the circulation here <coughs> 